There is a search going on for a hit and run driver who struck and killed a local grandfather while he was riding his bicycle. His family is now pleading with the driver to come forward. His family tells us that 79 year old Bob Rathje was in a bike lane riding westbound on Beach Boulevard near 295 last Saturday when he was hit. He died earlier this week. His family spoke with Tarek today. Tarek, they told you he was riding his bike with a special purpose. A, a very special purpose. Over the past 20 years, Bob Rathje's family says he's collected more than $7,000 in change that he found while riding his bike to help pay for his grandchildren's college education. It was something he was doing when he was hit by a driver last Saturday morning. The driver stopped, but then sped away. His family wants that person brought to justice. It would mean the world to me because he's not here. We were married 51 years. And it wasn't always easy, but we did it. And, you know, now I have, I have two great kids. I have four wonderful grandchildren. <laughs> Jenny Rathje is overcome with emotion just thinking about her husband of more than 50 years. She says 79-year-old Bob Rathje loved to take long bike rides collecting coins along the way to help pay for his grandchildren's college education. This past Saturday, just after 10 a.m., Rathje's daughter says the driver of a Hyundai Sonata hit him pulled over and got out of his car. She says two witnesses were there and heard the driver say something hurtful before taking off. The person who hit him stopped, got out of his car and said, wow, this really ruins my day, got back in his car and left. And that was the last we saw of him. Family members say Bob Rathje suffered seven broken ribs, a fractured sternum, and a partially collapsed lung. His family says he died of internal bleeding days after the bicycle accident. Rathje says Jacksonville Sheriff's officers are looking for a black man roughly 5'10 in height with short spike dreads, driving a gray Hyundai Sonata, likely the year 2015 to 2019. They say multiple people may have seen the driver the day of the accident and have information that can help and hold the person who killed his father father and grandfather and husband responsible. We can't bring my dad back, but if you can give us that peace by helping us find who did this to my dad, it would be really amazing for our entire family. He was a grandfather who doted on his grandchildren. He loved them all to pieces and would do, like I said, he would do anything for them. The family tells me a JSO traffic homicide detective was just assigned to this case following Mr. Mr. Rathje's death. If you have any information about the driver of the car or a car with damage that you suspect may have been involved in that accident, please contact the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office's main phone number 904-630-0500. We have posted this number inside of this story that you can find right now on newsforjax.com.